on the web and in your hands. This is MDI TV. Recent headlines about people hurt by radiation overdoses from faulty or poorly operated CT scanners may have you fretting about the risks if your doctor wants you to get a scan. But wondering, gee, what if the tech has this thing set on well done? Isn't the question most people should be concerned about most of the time, according to radiologist Lawrence Boxed. I think what we're seeing in the public now is confusion between the dose per examination and the number of tests that an individual gets. And I think the problem with going after the dose per examination is it's going to ignore the number of tests. And that's really where the problem is. According to the U.S. National Cancer Institute, Americans get about 70 million CT scans a year. That's up from 3 million a year in the 1980s. It's estimated that the radiation from all those scans causes about 15,000 fatal cancers every year. That toll is getting attention, including a new initiative from the FDA. Of course, CT scans have many benefits. They can make a life or death difference in diagnosis. They help guide surgeons preparing to cut open a patient and maybe show that an operation isn't really necessary after all. They can also help protect doctors. Have you ever heard of a doctor being criticized or even sued because she didn't order a scan? And when clinics have their own scanners, the devices are often reliable money makers. The immediate benefits of CT scans can obscure the long-term harms, so it's easy to just keep doing more and more. There are a lot of CT scanners out there. We use them an awful lot for an awful lot of body parts, and it's very fast and very efficient imaging. So we're going to be studying more people. So we really have to get our act together to do these procedures properly in the right populations. Perhaps as many as a third of CT scans may not be really necessary. And those who are concerned about the ever-growing radiation doses we're giving ourselves say that the attitude of, let's just take a look to make sure, isn't a good enough reason to get zapped. Radiologist Bruce Reiner says he doesn't always agree with the physicians who send people to him for a scan. And I've seen myself in practice numerous times where a given physician will order multiple tests on a patient uh, before getting the results of one study, they're already ordering multiple studies, and oftentimes the studies that they're ordering directly overlap with one another. And clearly, one would say, well, does that make a lot of sense? A lot of people take more of a shotgun approach, and I think it's been exacerbated by medical legal risk, uh, as well as the impetus to kind of push people through as quickly as possible. So what's to be done? The FDA's new initiative to reduce unnecessary radiation exposure from medical imaging advises that in addition to having providers make sure their scanners are working right and are operated properly, both doctors and patients should think about alternative scanners, such as MRIs or ultrasound machines, that don't use ionizing radiation. And then again, both doctors and the rest of us are advised to think before scanning. What's the purpose of the scan? How would the results affect recommended treatment? Are there other ways based on the individual circumstances and medical history of a patient to get answers without scanning at all? And there's a key piece of information that often isn't in our medical records that the FDA and others say should be. Exactly how much radiation from scans and treatments has a person been exposed to over a lifetime? Resisting the urge to scan first and ask questions later can help reduce the risk that you'll be exposed to too much of a good thing. I'm Andrew Holtz, MDI-TV News.